Somebody at work asked me to explain this uh, device that I affectionately call my lettuce machine. The reason I call it a lettuce machine is because I usually use it to grow lettuce. But it, uh, and it has done quite well doing that. So let me give you a little explanation on how this thing works. Now like I said before, I usually grow lettuce in it. And here's a picture of a past crop. Not a very good picture, but it's one. Uh, this is beans. Uh, beans or soybeans. I can't remember which one, but I have grown both. Now there's kind of a side view. You can see they've just grown all over the thing. And these are Asian beans. Now this little sequence, look at that little silver cleat down there. These are pictures are one day apart. And as you watch this, you can see how fast these things grow. Uh, Asian beans are just delicious and they can grow, you know, up, I think a yard long. But look at that one. Isn't that something? That's really good stuff. I think that's the last picture on the Asian beans anyway. Now this whole thing is basically built out of 4 inch PVC sewer pipe. And what I've done is cap the ends and you can see that cap. You can buy those at the hardware store too. And then I've drilled a hole in the cap and I run a, an electrical conduit connection in there and sealed it up with silicone glue. Now here's one of those caps that I haven't uh, glued down yet and this is a project that I'm going to be working on but there they are all the caps and the pipes and it is sewer pipe. Now the way it basically works is I've got water being pumped up here from a fountain pump and I've got a little fixture here where it comes running out and I've got a little valve to control it and it basically runs down that end of the table comes back this way and then zigzags back and forth until it finally comes out of this pipe here and dumps back into that bucket. Now I'm going to give you a real exciting shot of the bucket and the water running but you can see the hose going up there to the top from the fountain pump and there's the water return coming back. And let me grab one over here. This is what they look like when they're... Now you see I've got a little screen in there. I don't know if you can see that. And the reason I put that in there is because I fill these with perlite. And perlite, as you can see, is these little little granules. These are, these are full of algae because they've been sitting in the sunshine here. But it's a little spongy volcanic rock. Now if I don't put that, scr that screen in the bottom, what happens after a while is the perlite kind of trickles down through the bottom of the bottom of the cup here and so it, you know doesn't do you any good but anyway this works pretty well what I'm growing in here right now is peas let's see if I can pull one of these up and you can see the roots that are coming down there's one that's pretty good these are probably going to be harvested they've got some growing to do yet but probably harvested in uh, oh I don't know maybe a month and after that I'm going to start growing lettuce in here again and this does really good for lettuce and I'll tell you why because if you see where I'm at this way over here is east so what happens is you get the sun shining in here like this for half the day and that's the morning and then in the afternoon it's shade and uh, I've got a swamp cooler over there. You can see the hole that keeps this place relatively cool. And uh, half a day of sun and relatively cool in here in the hot in the hot summer does pretty well for this thing. So, just some ideas on what to do and how to do it. You might uh, try this yourself and see how it works for you.